Freshman back, Jaden Sheridan, very high. Uh, I guess redshirt senior, Eddie Morales, Coach Callahan, and graduate student, Mahmoud Shabana. Right tackle, left. Left tackle, yeah. Uh, Coach, want to start with an opening <coughs> statement and then uh, fire left. Yeah, you know, we felt approaching this game that it was important that we go out and start fast and, and, and play really well uh, in, in all phases of the game. Um, I, I think it's important that, you know, if you're going to play for a championship in a month of November, you've got to play championship level football. And that's the challenge that we issued to our team this week. Uh, we wanted to see, see a team that went out and played with a high level of concentration, high level of focus, and, and played a physical game. And I, I was very pleased because I thought we did just that. Uh, we knew we had to control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Uh, we were able to, to run the ball e extremely well against them. And I think we, we did a very good job against their running game. And, and any time you can do that, it, it's going to uh, make good things happen for your team. So very happy with the, the win, very happy to go 1-0 and today, and uh, you know, excited to look forward to next week down at Kennesaw. Kevin, it, it, it seemed like your offense really hit its stride, and maybe your defense had its best game of the year today. Just talk about how both of those units seem to be playing their best football at the well, I mean, I, I, I thought what you saw today, Steve, was a really high level of execution on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, they had that first drive where they went down and, <clears throat> and put the ball in the end zone. But, you know, we had a couple communication errors on that drive, and I think our, uh, that was uh, caused our guys to kind of just refocus on what it is we wanted to accomplish out there. And I thought the rest of the way they were we, – we played dominant on the defensive side. And on the offensive side, we showed our ability to run the ball. Uh, we showed our ability to, to hit big explosive plays in the pass game. Uh, I thought our offensive line did an excellent job of, of controlling uh, their front seven in the line of scrimmage. And that drive at the end of the game where I think we took almost 11 minutes off the clock, just, you know, grinding the ball down the field and then, you know, uh, uh, scoring at the end with Austin Castorina, I thought was just an exceptional drive. And it showed how, how dominant a team we can be when we do things the right way and when, when we're uh, focusing on, on our assignments and what we need to do. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, I mean, every conference game is important. We try to play it like it's Kennesaw every week. And, uh, well, we knew that it was going to come down to the last game against Kennesaw. And, uh, you know, it was just great that we were able to get on all cylinders firing this week so that we'll be even better next week against Kennesaw. <laughs> Yeah, what, what I think you're seeing with our team is, is, I agree with you, we do have a lot of upperclassmen, a lot of seniors, graduate uh, students who've, who've been around a long time and, and, and played a lot of uh, 
good football here. But what you're also seeing is the depth that we have and the younger class is beginning to emerge. You know, we've got, I think, 20 guys who are in their fourth year but all have another year and are, are planning on coming back for next year. We introduced 20 seniors today. I mean, all total, that would be 40 seniors if you counted everybody. But then you've got the younger guys. You mentioned Tony and you've got uh, uh, Jaden and what he's doing. And, you know, on the other side of the ball, you got Jalen Dotson and Mike Reed who are, who are making big plays out there. Uh, so there's a lot of young guys contributing, and, and that's a good sign. And, and just uh, going back to Kansas, you know, with a, a big South title on the line, it seems like every year it comes down to Monica. Well, it has every year since 2017. It's come down to that game for the conference championship. Um, this year is not going to be any different. Uh, we know what we're in for. Uh, they're an excellent football team. They're, they're very well coached. If they win today, they'll be uh, nine and one go, coming into our game. Um, and we know it's going to be a really, uh, a real physical battle. And so we've got to take this week and get ready for uh, what we know we're going to walk into down there. Come on, one question. <laughs> I just re kept resetting my watch because every time there was lightning within eight hours, you have to reset it for 30 minutes. And, you know, we tried to let the guys relax. We didn't really do anything structured, uh, just try to get off their feet and get their mind off it. But as we were ready to take the field, we wanted to refocus on, on you know, what we needed to do today. And, you know, we all needed, knew that we needed to win. And so we wanted to go back out on that field and, and, and play, uh, you know, that type of football so that we would come off the field with a win. Thank you. Yep. I think that's our first lightning delay game. Ever. I don't think I've ever been in one. <laughs>